is the thing that for a year the Democrats have been trying to figure out. Who's the person who can take Trump on? And the Democratic caucus in Iowa, the first thing they do is they step on their own collective dick and fall down the stairs. <laughs> it's ongoing. There's still tailwinds. Yeah. We now know what happened there, or we think we know what happened there. We know 62% of the story of what happens there. Yeah. Pete Buttigieg won the delegate count, which is pretty remarkable, right? An incredible thing for someone who a year ago nobody knew he was. Pete's win should have been like Obama's win. Yes, it should have been. Exactly. And that was the speech he gave, was the Obama speech. Had he clearly been declared the winner of the most delegates last night, as he was today, he would have been on fire. Pete Buttigieg shocks the world and wins the Iowa caucuses. That's not what the story was last night. The person who got the biggest boost out of this is Joe Biden. The country didn't hear screaming headlines about how the front runner fell to fourth place. Instead, it's like, hey, you know what happened? I don't know what happened in Iowa. I'm on to New Hampshire. You know, it's interesting, right? Because it feels like Iowa is this long courtship. Candidates spent months in Iowa visiting 99 counties, and now the state of New Hampshire. I'm not going to call it a one-night stand. It's like a one-week stand. wham, bam, I thank you, ma'am, campaign is what it is. It's an eight-night stand. It is an eight-night stand. And in that very, very short span, some of these senators still got to go back to Washington tomorrow to vote on Trump's acquittal or conviction. We know how that's going to turn out. You have a debate on Friday. That's just a few days before the primary. And you could imagine this debate getting a little chaotic. Well, these people are starting to not to like each other. Eventually, the, the process breaks everyone. And like people get human, and they get chippy, and they like snap at each other. And you have these non-aggression packs, and they're like, oh, this is my best friend. We work together. You I will kill you. <laughs> it like breaks them, but then somebody, usually somebody comes out stronger for having gone through that. Yes, absolutely. They need to go through that because they if they think this is tough, just wait till they meet Donald Trump this summer. As we sit here, the economy's performing strong. The president's going to give the State of the Union in front of tens of millions of people who are going to watch this thing. It's happening right now. It's happening right uh, yeah. As we speak, he has, a, he has a 49% approval rating, the highest of his presidency. And tomorrow, the president is going to go and get acquitted in this impeachment trial. Steve Schmidt was on television yesterday saying he thinks that on the moment when Trump is acquitted tomorrow, that he will be the most powerful president in the history of the country. And that's like maybe a little hyperbolic. But if you were sitting in the White House with Donald Trump, you could not design a better week than this week. And so I'm depressing you, but no, I, I, think, I think as you look, <laughs> <laughs> the question now is like, is the Democratic Party going to start right now in New Hampshire to pull its shit together, or is it going to continue to run the chaos campaign?